Okay, I'd like to take you uh, through how I repaired the 52-inch RCA HD TV. Uh, it's got the blink of death, three blinks, and it fails to power up. So I went and took off the backboard. Here's the model number D52W15. The model numbers are all kind of similar. There's the power board there to the left and all your other boards that I'm not familiar with. Anyhow, most important thing was to check and video or photograph each and every cable that is on this uh, power board and the motherboard because you're going to disconnect a good majority of them before the uh, repairs can be got to which are back there with the flashlight showing at the moment. A couple of capacitors on the TV are bad and they help power up this TV and keep it from going through the three blinks of death which is what's been referred to on the internet so basically what I did is I went through and I did what you see here videotaped every cable every connector because they most all will be disconnected and taken apart so I can get into the back of this guy and get to those two capacitors Okay, so I've pretty much gone through and verified each and every cable, ribbon cable, plugs, just about everywhere. I couldn't find a circuit layout anywhere, so videotape seems to work better than anything. So I got I don't know, half of them maybe disconnected, and then we'll go from there. Okay, moving on. Um, I've got almost all the cables done. The The tray itself is clipped into the bottom of the TV, so there's a place where you need to pull up on the bottom of this tray and lift it up a little bit as you pull it out. It'll pull up and snap out of there pretty easy. The uh, capacitors are back here in the back left-hand side. That's not it there, but down here. Okay, over here. Oh, over there. There they are. There's one of them. You can barely see it there. And then we'll move the camera over here just a little bit more. There's what we call the 150. That's the big one there with the popped up top. And then the 114 is there right behind. There it is. 114. Got a popped up top. Any capacitor on anything, really even motors and such uh, that capacitors got a lifted top see there and the one there inside of that little metal shield both of them are bad one's the 150 on the bottom there in the middle and the upper right hand one there is the 114 supposedly the 120 to the left there is one of the other ones that may go bad but it's okay also don't touch that thing right there that's uh, what powers up the tv screen and it's holding a huge amount of electricity it'll shock you and make you light up like a firework so stay away from it so anyway here we go we got the new capacitors in place which i got online for the two of them for less than 10 bucks with delivery which was absolutely cool instead of spending a couple hundred with a tv guy so we put the new capacitors in soldered them in place and cleaned them up make sure i put the capacitor in the right location as well because a capacitor can go in backwards so be sure that uh, when you put them in that uh, you follow the configuration of the positive and negative on a capacitor. Okay, so we got the boards all snapped back into place. Got most of all of our wires reconnected from the start. All the ribbon cables and plugs and everything else you can imagine. There's probably eight or ten of them we did have to take apart, but the good thing is they all have a different size adapter on each end of them, so they're really easy to put back in place because they only fit in one particular location and the cables are only so long so you can't go too far anyway got it fixed we're going to hit the power button with the remote and see what happens hopefully this uh, puppy dog will fire up and that light won't blink on us so wait a minute here and oh boy looky there <laughs> we don't have it hooked up to cable which we're going to do right about now so we ran a temporary cable into the house off the other TV that works. Connected to this one, and looky there, we've got TV. So we're going to kill it, turn it off again. 
and see what happens. You know, it should turn off, which no big deal. And then we're going to kick it back on and hopefully the little red light comes on, which it should. And if it does and it doesn't blink, that's a good sign as well. The light's on, it's solid. So here we go. Come on TV, do it. There we go. And everything works. It does have volume, of course, but not on this particular video because of the way we did it. Anyway, that's it.